everybody, so today I thought I would do a drugstore slash budget kind of chit chat, get ready with me. I'm not getting ready for anything, I'm in my onesie, <laughs> um, which I have folded down to waist level so you can't see it, all, I've, all you'll see is my vest. Um, sorry about the lighting, it's quite grey outside and I'm trying to use natural light where possible, so I've already got my foundation on because I kind of only thought to do this a few seconds ago I was putting a face on just to kind of have a play with some drug story products so I could come up with a tutorial for you guys. Um, the foundation that I'm using is the, what is this? Bourgeois Healthy Mix Serum in the colour 53. So I've already got that on, I just used that with, whoop, I'm dropping things. Um, the sculpting brush from Real Techniques and I also used the Real Techniques buffing brush as well. Either one of those is fine, or if you prefer to use a sponge, then use a sponge. Um, next thing I'm going to do is conceal my under eye circles. And what I'm going to do is use my Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer in the colour Medium 3. I hope this still matches me, because I've kind of been using my Bobbi Balm Corrector for a little while now. Um, I'm going to be using my Tartlet palette as my mirror. So I just like to chuck a load under there. Technical terms, guys, technical terms. And then anywhere else I think I need it. So this kind of this colour matches me. So I'll use it for spot concealing. Anywhere I have a few little sort of red patches or whatever. Because it has been that time of the month lately and I'm only just coming off and, you know, the struggle is real. So, I'm going to use my sculpting brush by Real Techniques to just pat that in. And then the other side. I know that I pull some really freaking weird faces when I'm blending things. I'll often do like the weird eye roll when I'm doing the blending. Okay, and then anywhere else that I can see like brush marks or anything, I mean these are all buffing brushes so you probably won't see anything, but I kind of just like to tap it out with my finger anyway because the warmth from your fingers is just going to get rid of any kind of brush marks and just sort of press it into the skin a little bit nicer. So there we go, concealer is done. What I next like to do is kind of put some contours and stuff back into my face. So I will highlight with a lighter concealer. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the color 15, which I think is the lightest one that they do. So I'm gonna take this down the center of the nose. This is gonna look terrifying, I realize. I like a little bit of contour at the moment, but I don't like to do it quite as much as other people do. I've seen some crazy looking lineage going on lately on Instagram, which has obviously been face tuned the shit out of afterwards, but if you wanna do it naturally, then I suggest just using like a, a concealer, a, a lighter concealer and maybe powders and not layering like loads and loads and loads of cream products on top of each other, because that ends up looking really crazy for daytime. I'm just taking my buffing brush and I'm going over to buff it all into the skin. And I don't know if you can see, so what I did was I put it in the corner of my eyes, kind of made a little bit of a triangly shape here, down the center of my nose, a little bit in my, sort of between my eyebrows, some here, and whatever's left on the brush I kind of just Go like that with. Sorry if I'm looking in the viewfinder, I'm just making sure that I'm actually in the shot. There we go. And the next thing I'm going to do is eyebrows. I have an eyebrow routine. Yeah, what I'm actually going to do though, I'm going to use my um, Soap and Glory Brow Archery in the colour Hot Chocolate. It's a dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. So I would normally use my Makeup Forever, but we're trying to make this budget friendly so I start at the edges oh this is really weird okay so I used to use this color all the time 
And since I've started using my Makeup Forever, which is really quite a grey kind of taupey colour, this feels really warm to me. It's not, like it's not, I hope it's not looking red or anything, like it doesn't. But it looks really quite warm in comparison to my Makeup Forever one. It's really bizarre. So I always start on the edges because that's where I need the most help. One brow done. Now this is the tricky part is like getting them even because you will always, well, I guess you guys will find this as well. Do you guys find this? I always do one eyebrow really well and then the other one turns into a bloody nightmare. But I always start at the edges because I think they should be darker towards the end and lighter through the middle part. Otherwise you end up looking a bit like frowny and a bit scary. Which we don't want to do really. We don't want to be scary, scary people. And then just feather through the front. And I think, she says, adding more. That'll do. Um, next thing that I'm going to do is set my brows. And the one that I like to use is the, mine is really skunky, Maybelline Brow Drama, which looks like this, has quite a funky wand. I like it because it sets them, but they don't feel like glue. Um, and it also deposits like a nice amount of colour because of the wand on it. You don't get like big clumps. I find like I've tried the MAC one that's the coloured one. I've tried a few. And because the wand is so teeny tiny, you just end up with like clumps of coloured brow mascara in your eyebrows. And it just looks really gross. And then you're trying to like even them out and get it all out. And it just, it's not working for me. This is lovely and it comes in lots of different colours as well. And it's really cheap. Next thing I'm going to do is move on to the eyes. I don't know what I'm going to do with my eyes. I kind of have a few bits and pieces in front of me. I think I'm going to start with a base. I haven't found a good base that's similar to, what's it called, Max Soft Ochre Paint Pot. So if I'm doing something really neutral, then what I tend to do is I just use the Maybelline Colour, 20, Colour Tattoos, 24 hour ones. And I would tend to always go for this one, which is On and On Bronze or Bad Girl Bronze, or I think they have different names in the UK and in America but I take that on my ring finger and this is kind of neutral enough that you can sort of do anything with it really actually if you really wanted to you could just use this all over your eyelid smudge it out and kind of be done with it and put some mascara on of course I'm not going to do that because I like to complicate my life and if you're wondering what's on my nails it is an Essie colour. It's quite a new one, I think. Or new to me, anyway. Might be from their new collection, even. I'm not entirely sure. I really like it. It's called um, Big Spender. But the only thing is... I put this on yesterday with my usual Seshvi top coat. And look. It's already chipping. Not impressed, actually, with the formula of this one. Whereas... I bought a couple of like nudie pinks while I was in Boots the other day when I bought Big Spender as well and they've lasted really nicely. I wore one for like a whole week and it chipped. I think my index finger chipped on my right hand and obviously that's a hand that I do everything with so I kind of expected it but that one, oh my god, less than 24 hours because I did it last night before bed. Not impressed. Um, while I remember, I'm going to use my Palmer's Cocoa Butter lip balm tastes like chocolate it's really bad and just smack a bit of this on so that when I come to do lips then it will dry and horrible back to the eyes um so what I'm going to do is I said I'm going to do drugstore and I actually feel like my makeup geek palette it counts as drugstore because they're so reasonably priced I know you probably have to pay for the shipping but actually they're reasonably priced and they are drugstore prices. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, what is this? I believe it's Beaches and Cream. Yeah, I'm going to take this one, which is Beaches and Cream. 
just a kind of warm peachy colour and I'm going to take that through the crease on a fluffy brush. This is a Smashbox one but I really like the Coastal Scents one so you could use a MAC one, something like a 224 or if you want to do like a, a more precise one then the 222. Just anything sort of fluffy and blendy will do. Keep adding, keep blending until you kind of build up the colour that you want. And then what I'm going to do, actually slow, just zoom you in a little bit. Ooh, that was zooming you out, hello. Ooh, scary. Okay, there we go. That's probably better, isn't it? Um, on a smaller fluffy brush, actually no, let's not do that. I'm going to take a, what is this, Eco Tools. I don't know what it is shadow brush eco tool shadow brush this is um you can get a set of mini ones anything like semi flat and stiff i'm gonna take what is this one called frappe which looks like this from makeup geek and i'm going to put that underneath my eye on the lower lash line i never bother priming under here if you have particularly oily eyelids then feel free to do so but I don't feel like that's necessary then what I'm going to do is take my Rimmel Scandal Eyes eyeshadow crayon in the colour bad girl bronze and it, these are the chubby sticks so you can use these all over the eye like you could just smudge this on and smudge it out with a blender brush and it would look great I'm sure um, I'm going to take one of these kind of flat brushes, which is, what is this called? I have no idea, the name's run off. Sigma E15, I think it is. Looks like that. It's kind of like a, just a straight eyeliner brush. And I'm just going to take some on the brush like this. And then we're just going to place this along the lash line. Don't worry if it's not a perfectly straight line, it doesn't really matter. Anything that's a bit smudgy is either going to turn out looking pretty cool or you'll hide it once you've applied your mascara and stuff. So if you need a bit more then just go back in. And I'm coming pretty much all the way in but obviously if you start from the outer edges there'll be less product on your brush by the time you get into the inner half of your eye. And then I'm sort of bringing it down into the outer edge of my bottom lash. And I'm going to do that on the other side and pray to God it looks semi-even. So you've kind of done a little bit of a wing, but not really. Then I'm going to terrify the living daylights out of all of you by... Um, curling my lashes and looking like a complete creeper while I do so, I'm sure. So I like to squeeze at the base and then move out slightly and then squeeze again because otherwise you'll just end up with like this weird straight line where your eyelashes have curved from only one point. What you actually want to do is stop and do it, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze and move it up a little bit so you actually get that proper curve rather than just one kind of line where they start poking out it looks really weird so you squeeze move up squeeze again and then I just like to kind of fluff them out and make sure that I haven't missed any or anything like that now I'm going to use my favorite mascara I think this might be my favorite mascara of all time this is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Lash Multiply Mascara this is the waterproof version um, I'm really into using waterproof versions of mascara but for this one actually here's the wand you don't need to I find that even though most things will smudge underneath for me this one doesn't even in the non waterproof version so if you hate taking things off that are waterproof then maybe just get the regular one and I just like to wiggle at the bottom and then drag it through the rest of my lashes so if you press at the bottom and you kind of wiggle it like this then you'll deposit the most amount of color at the base and then you can just comb through the rest 
Now don't worry if like me, you get a little bit of smudginess on the bottom one. That's fine, we can fix that later. The trick is to wait for it to dry. So I like to do my top lashes first. And then what I'll do is I'll wait for it to dry a little weeny bit. And then I'll go in and do the bottom ones. Some spectacular face pulling going on here, I can tell. Right. Can you see how much more awake I look now? Ta -da! I have an eyelash on my face. It's not good. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to zoom out so you can... Ooh, hello. It's terrifying. Now I'm going to use my 17 Instant Glow Light Bronze Bronzer, which is an old favourite of mine. They still do they still do this. I still love it. I will use this. In fact, I've forgotten about it. It's only because I wanted to do something drug story for you guys um, that I kind of remembered I had it. I was looking for, oh my God, what can I use as bronzer? Because I've been using my Chanel Le Beige just for ages because it has a nice mirror in it for when I'm carrying around stuff for castings. Um, I'm going to use the Sigma F40, which is an angled blush brush. And I'm just going to bronze my face up. So, cheeks, jawline, cheeks. Obviously, you're going to do this on both sides. So as not to look like a crazy person. Um, so you're kind of hitting all the points where the sun would naturally hit you. So anything that's high, kind of like nose a little bit, chin, cheekbones, tops of foreheads and temples. Can you see the glow? Much better. Right. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is apply some blusher. And I'm going to be using one from Sleek. Now, I really like these. This is my favorite. It looks, looks a bit dirty, actually. Let me see if I can scrape the top off just so you can see. Nicer. Ew. Yeah. Um, so this is the Cream to Powder Blush. Looks like this. And it is in the color, can I read upside down? French Rose which is really pretty. It's just like a natural kind of corally, pinky, good for every day, suit my skin tones. I'm gonna take this on a contour brush, which I believe is also, is this a, this is a Royal and Lagnical Pro. It's basically a smaller version of the Sigma one I just used. I'm going to dot it in here. This stuff is quite potent, so just be wary. And then smile. So start on the apples, blend it back into your bronzer so we don't get weird liney things going on because no one likes unblended makeup, do they? Ta da! Lips. Um, I'm going to be using this Bourjois 3D Effect Gloss, that's what it's called, um, in the colour Beige Elastic. It's really, really shimmery, which excites me a huge amount. I don't know why, but it does. Um, so I'm just going to apply this like this. Ooh, that's quite new, didn't it? How do we feel about that? Ooh. I don't know. Do you know what? We're just gonna go with it. So I've got nothing but lip balm and a bit of this in. So it's kind of nude without you having to do lipstick because the shine makes your teeth look whiter. Okay, let me zoom you out a little bit. Let's get this right this time, shall we? Yay, we did it. I'm getting used to my camera, sorry guys. This is really rambly. Um, 
not organised at all and the lighting's probably changing and going a bit cray cray. But I know you like the rambly ones, so... Da, 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 da. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I will obviously list all the products down below that I used. Sorry, I didn't really know what I was doing. It was kind of more of a, like a fun, chilled, still can't whack my camera, um, rambly type one. But I hope you like what we have done today. And um, yeah, don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram because if I'm not on here, as I say every time, I'm usually on there. Um, for any kind of emails, business inquiries type stuff, I now have a email address or even if you just want to say hi. Um, and yeah, hope you're having a lovely day wherever you are and I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up if you like it. Okay, bye.